Remember, this is real cooking. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friends. I was in the wholesalers the other day and I came across some loose lamb breasts, one pound a kilo. I couldn't help it, I had to get some. There's not much meat on them, but years ago in Morrison's, they used to sell these pre-cooked. They were hot, you know, it was like a hot food uh, thing, you know, like where you get rotisserie chickens and that. And they were absolutely amazing. So, anyway, I bought a couple of packs of them. Um, I'm just gonna, basically I would equate it to being, it's basically, it's the same as um, like a pork spare rib, I would say. So I'm just gonna take the membrane off. I won't do it on all of them. To do it, get a spoon or some blunt object, scrape up the back of the bone. Like that. And then just peel it back. You can get a kitchen towel, you know, a piece of paper towel and do it. I've already done one off camera and it's very delicate is this uh, membrane. It's not like a piggy's membrane, but you can see it's peeling off. There you are, basically like that. And all it means is when you're eating it, you're not gonna get that chewy mankiness, but because it's so delicate, I don't even know if it would do anything. But anyway, I'll take the rest off and then we'll uh, season them up with a dry rub. Right, so we've taken off the membrane from those uh, nine beautiful little breasts. Let's make a little dry rub to go on it. So, we're gonna go, I reckon, you don't need to see this, I'll just put the ingredients into the thing. Two, ta the two tablespoons of salt, should we go? Yeah, that's enough. Two tablespoons of salt. Go on, we'll keep it on. Fast forward, press stop, do what you gotta do. One tablespoon of garlic, granules. One tablespoon of dried rosemary. Come on, there we go. I think, oh man, maybe a teaspoon of mint. You don't want to, mm, half a tablespoon, let's go, of mint. And just for a bit of extra fun, a tablespoon of lamb gravy. I'm gonna make a sort of mopping sauce out of lamb gravy later on. Right, we'll just uh, crush all that together. The Lamb breast, just a drizzle of oil, just normal oil, <coughs> veggie oil, on both sides, brush it around it. And just get a good amount, sprinkle on that dry rub. There we are, both sides. Right, we'll do the rest, then we'll get it on the grill. Get them on the grill. Right, so here we have it seasoned up just ignore the stuff on my hands it's in expanding glue it's not going to come off right i'm going to stack these guys because there's so many of them nine of them in total on top of each other we're rocking indirect we're going at about 300 fahrenheit so i think in a couple of hours if i keep tossing these guys on top of each other you know tossing the breasts toss so stop it Tossing, tossing the rest. Um, you know, they're just sat happy. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've never done this before. So I reckon it's going to take a couple of hours. We'll toss them about for an hour or so. Then we might uh, put a bit of a, a bit of a sort of mopping sauce made out of thick lamb gravy with a bit of mint in it. These are going to be good. Check in later. Right, so inside they're going to be raw. Just getting a little bit of colour going on. I'm going to toss them around just to get that even cooking. Look at that. They're actually, they smell amazing. They look good as well, really. Wow. Look at that. The ones on the bottom, obviously, got a lot of juice on because that's being sort of marinated through, isn't it? Just put them over to this side. Top ones to the bottom and so on. Yeah, it's going to be good. Right, friends, look at these bad boys. Look at that. I mean, at one pound a kilo, I don't think you can make it look bad. I've done them for about two hours in direct, and I've just spent the last couple of minutes just tossing them over the, 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 the direct section. And reason, obviously that's what's um, produced all of these flare-ups, which is good. That means we're getting a good bit of flame-licked lamb. I mean, what can be better than flame-licked lamb? <laughs> flame-licked lamb with some gravy painted on. Wow. I'm going to move them in direct again because the flames are going to go wild. Look at this. Right, I'm going to just paint them up a bit with some of this uh, lovely thick lamb gravy with a bit of mint and rosemary in it. Do them again indirect, maybe 10 15 minutes while I finish off the tater wedges. 
and then we will see what these taste like, friends. I'll be honest with you, I've already had a taste, they're good. Man, look at these cheap ass breasts. One pound a kilogram. Lamb breasts. Never done them myself, never cooked them myself. Yes, I've eaten them a few times from Morrison's. Let's see. I mean, you know, there's very little meat on them, hence the price. Yeah, I'll tell you something. They are really good. They taste amazing. Well, got a little dipping sauce of uh, lamb gravy there. Right, friends, I'm gonna get into this um, whip kids. Got some wedges, carrots. Three of these each, probably not gonna be enough. Luckily we've got loads of chocolate and crisps in the cupboard. Friends, have a go at this. Seriously, that is an amazing taste. One pound a kilogram. I dare say if you got it from your butcher, it's gonna cost a little bit more than that. Ask them. From what I can see, it's pretty much a byproduct that they throw away. Man. Friends, have a go at it. It's really good. Really easy too. Bye bye, friends. Bye bye.